Hey guys, the Bill here. Hope everyone is doing fine. I have a special video today. It's finally here. I've been waiting for this thing since it was announced. And I'm talking about, of course, the Valve Steam Deck, which I have here in my hands. Hey go, that's the Valve Steam Deck that I've been waiting for for quite some time. As I said, I pre-ordered this thing when it pre-order started back in July last year, and it took a year before I got mine. This is the 512 gigs as I uh, I will explain later. Uh, and this is not a review yet. This is my initial impression. I've just had this thing for about uh, a couple days now. So didn't have time to play it as much as I want. Obviously the first thing I did was went ahead and logged in, set up the Steam, set up my account and started downloading the King of Fighters. 15. So how did it play? What are my initial impression of this thing? Is it good for fighting games? Is the D-pad good? Which is, you know, the million dollar question for me. We'll answer all those questions in this first impression. But before we do that, a gentle reminder to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I drop a new video. And remember that I will be traveling to Japan next month in order to film multiple FGC related documentaries. Uh, there's the, you know, like there's the card over here where you can take you to the video that where I explain everything that I will be doing as well as a link in the description below where you can help with this project through the GoFundMe page. Enough about that. Let's talk about the Steam Deck. So in terms of build quality, the Steam Deck feels very, very solid. It's yes, it's plastic, but it's it still feels really good. You know, it feels much better than the Switch, by the way. And in terms of size, this was my first worry. When I, when I, when I saw the videos, when I saw the images of the Steam Deck, it just, you know, it's a larger device. It's larger than the Switch. However, it's very ergonomic and I don't have any problem holding it and playing for, for a long time. It's really, really convenient. Now, as far as inputs, uh, you, or buttons, well, first of all, we'll look, you have, uh, you know, like an input uh, for the audio, like for the audio jack, which is great. Volume down and up. You have your one uh, HD um, USB-C, which we're going to talk about in a second, your power button. And then over here, you have the uh, micro SD slot, which I'm actually using right now. Now, as you know, the Steam Deck comes in three configurations, the 64 gigs, 256 and 512. This is the 512 version. I still added another 512 here and I will talk about why I did that, uh, even though I'm using most of the games from the device itself, which is the high speed SSD. As far as inputs, you have a D-pad, which I will talk about extensively. In this video and other videos, you have two thumbsticks, you have your classic X, Y, A, B buttons, and then you have the uh, two here, two buttons, option button, and um, a start button, if you will. Then we have a Steam button, as well as a configuration or option bu button as well. You have your, um, your speakers coming out from here, and then you also have two more buttons oh well you have the r1 and r uh, r1 r2 l1 l2 and then you have r4 r5 and l4 l5 i haven't used these yet you have uh, two vents you have one in here and then you have one in here now as far as fan noise this thing does have a fan but i could not hear it honestly i hear i, I saw a lot of complaints about some of the fans and I heard that uh, Valve have actually fixed that in the newer models. And I think I got the, the, the good one because I don't really notice it. Of course, if I put my ears close to uh, the vent, you can still hear it, but it's very faint. And you don't really hear it in, in like fighting games, which is what I played a lot with this thing since I got it. Uh, again, this is, this is an initial uh, impressions. This is not uh you know a review this is not i'll still talk about a lot of these things in different videos you also have these two trackpads uh, uh that you know you use when you are in desktop mode which which is not the normal gaming mode which you use your device like it's a it's a gaming pc of course using linux uh this also is useful in some of the uh, strategy games apparently i don't play those but i i gotta say my when i saw the device my first gripe was the d-pad when i looked at it it's really too far in here and the buttons are a little bit far now when i played this thing it actually is it kind of confirmed some of my worries about the d-pad it is not a good d-pad 
it's not bad but it, it, it's nothing special it's a little bit difficult to do like uh, special moves and, and DPS and whatnot so uh, as you know when I'm, when I'm playing the uh, fighting games I find myself that I have to use this thumbstick which of course uh, they don't have any micro switches which makes it makes them kind of difficult for them to be precise I probably need more time with both the d-pad and the thumbstick to have a better uh, that's why this is not a review I'm not telling you that the d-pad is horrible but from my initial impressions it's not what I wanted it to be obviously so the first thing is obviously downloading and playing the King of Fighters 15 and I gotta say I was really really surprised to see how well the game run it was a solid 60 fps the colors were popping it looks great obviously the screen is 720p and honestly when i when i heard that the screen is 720p before i looked at it myself i thought it was a, it's a low resolution right but not really because the device that the the screen is still relatively small compared to a television 720p looks fantastic when you put the game in 720p you get that solid 60 fps it plays great and this is the first thing that came out to my to, to my mind when i saw this thing last year is like i'll be able to play the king of fighters 15 on the go when when it, when it comes out and it did and yes i can play the king of fighters 15 uh on the go with a little bit of issues that we're going to talk about i also tried street fighter 5 runs smooth really really well solid 60 fps uh i tried all the fighting games that i have king of fighters 13 is another game that says it's not compatible but it actually also looked fine, played awesome. Again, I didn't download the King of Fighters 14, haven't had time to do so. But let me talk about my initial impression in terms of the buttons. Of course, everything for me, the buttons are very... The screen is fantastic. I'll, you know, I said it, 720p looks amazing, really happy. It's obviously not OLED, but it just looks really, really good. Uh, the buttons that I said, they're not mushy. The, the, the standard buttons are good. The triggers, they also are really good. You know, I was a little bit worried about the placement of the D-pad and the buttons, as I said before, the buttons are fine. The D-pad is a little bit problematic. It is not mushy, no. It's a little bit too hard. In fact, I played it a little bit and I started having those. It, reminds me, it reminded me of the, you know, Sega Genesis days where you play a fighting game for a while and then you have that, you know, those sores on your thumb that's exactly what's going to happen if i keep playing this thing uh, and not only that it is not precise enough unfortunately it is really close to the thumbstick it's on the same level that a lot of time when i try to do a dp motion i end up being blocked by the thumbstick which is really annoying add to that it is not precise it is really hard and things like jumping backward and forward is not accurate a lot of time i find myself you know rather than jumping backward as i intend to do i end up jump, jumping vertically uh, so i found myself that you know the uh, the only way or the best way to play fighting games on this thing which i will be doing a lot because you know i love fighting games obviously is through the thumbstick which i hate because they're not precise they do not they do not have micro switch these are your regular thumbstick they do feel great but for fighting games they're a little bit less responsive at least to me now obviously you have the USB-C, so you can plug an arcade stick through that, uh, through like any any like any like USB stick hub. USB-C hub will work, will give you access to an HDMI port as well, and then you can use your standard stick and they all work fine. So there's that. But on the go, don't expect to be playing uh, any fighting game competitively because, you know, you do it for fun, play the story mode, unlock endings and stuff like that. That's all fun, and this is what I'm intending to do with this thing. Uh, the Steam Deck really shines, of course, when you play other non-fighting games. For example, playing Doom, Doom Eternal just it feels great. It's really, really intuitive. It looks amazing. It plays amazing. And the ergonomics of the Steam Deck really, really shine in games like that, in FPSs in general. Um, I tried Batman Arkham Knight, which said it was not compatible, but it worked fine, as I said before. And again, playing an adventure game on the go, it is really great. So this thing is amazing. I am really happy with it. Honestly, I am I am blown away. It is not perfect by any means. And we'll have other videos where I talk about some of the quirks, some of the issues. And, and the reason I say quirks, because these are not really issues, like really small things that it's kind of surprising they haven't fixed or that they released the, the, the console with these kind of like really annoying little things that could be fixed via... 
uh, some sort of an update. And they've been they've been Valve been doing pretty good. They've been updating uh, the Steam Deck constantly. And from what I heard, there's a lot of things that were a lot worse, and it's actually quite stable right now. So really happy with the purchase. I think this thing is great. It really also shines when we talk about emulation, which will be a different video, not this one. But my initial impressions are this is a great thing to have. Having uh, AAA games on the go, playing your Steam library on the go is really great. It is, I think Valve have done something very special. As far as my issues with it and things that I'm already looking forward into, uh, you know, like a Steam Deck 2 is the D-pad. I do not like it. I do not like one of my problems with the switch and the reason I don't play fighting games on it on the go is you know that the lack of d-pad because I have the original switch so those four buttons are horrible I had the Hori uh, Joy-Con which gives you a better d-pad which is good but uh, I was I was really having high hopes for the Steam Deck d-pad but I was so far I'm, I'm let down again I'm still gonna play this thing for a while I need some more time with it and I will let you know, I'll be doing videos, I'll show you some of the games running on it, some of the fighting games, I'll show you the King of Fighters 15 running on it, uh, and yeah, there'll be a lot of Steam Deck content on the channel, because this thing is really important, and it's absolutely a step forward for gaming in general. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, but until next time, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video from Neo Geo Now. Now don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not done so and I would like to take this opportunity and thank my patrons for supporting the channel and making this content possible. Making daily videos and especially the documentaries and lore episodes takes a very long time and a lot of effort and being able to get some support for these time consuming tasks allow me to keep going and strive for more and better content. With that said, I want to give a big special shout out to Michael, Bryant Yard, Fahad Aswedi, Jacques Paul, Beru Gadono, and Enrique Sandoval. As well as special thanks to Shaka Asamia, Refugio Robles, Felipe Guimara, Jihao Ju, Mohamed Al Blushi, Anthony Longino, Burned Retinas, Lily Wong Esmeralda, Goran, and Dangerman 1973. Those of you who are not yet Neo Geo Now patrons, I hope you will check my Patreon page where you can become patrons, helping the channel produce more videos as well as receive special perks that are exclusive to patrons, like early access to videos, exclusive making offs, and other SNK digital goodies. Link for the Neo Geo Patreon page is in the description below. So until next time, thank you for watching.